we're going to start our study of representation theory by classifying the representations of the group U1 of unit complex numbers. So here's what we're going to prove. Theorem. Um, if R from U1 to GLNC is a representation, a smooth representation, in other words, we can um, differentiate with respect to the uh, coordinate theta in e to the i theta on u1 then there exists a basis of cn in other words of the vector space on which these matrices are acting with respect to which um, the matrices are of the following form r e to the i theta equals e to the i m1 theta going down the diagonal to e to the i m n theta and then zeros everywhere else. In other words it's a diagonal matrix and on the diagonal we have e to the i m something theta where the m's m1 up to m n are integers. These are called the weights of the representation. In other words, so a slightly fancier way of saying this is um, Cn, the vector space where the matrices act, splits as a direct sum, V1, direct sum, all the way up to Vn, where each, each Vi is a one-dimensional space, just a copy of C, um, and R, the representation splits as a direct sum of representations R1, direct sum up to Rn. What does this mean? This means the matrices are block diagonal with respect to this direct sum over here. So block diagonal here, you know, because we've got N summands, that really means diagonal matrix, uh, such that Rk of e to the i theta is just this e to the i m k theta representation. Okay, so we'll talk more about direct sums later. For now, you can just think there's a basis with respect to which it's a diagonal matrix of e to the i m k thetas, where the m k's are integers. If you think about what this means, um, that basis with respect to which the matrix is diagonal is a basis of eigenvectors for the matrix R e to the i theta, right? For example, one zero 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 will be an eigenvector with eigenvalue e to the i m one theta. And actually it's an eigenvector of that with, for all theta, right? So it's a simultaneous eigenvector of R e to the i theta for all theta, i.e. we're looking for a basis of so-called simultaneous eigenvectors. So the vectors which are eigenvectors of e to the i theta, or r of e to the i theta, for all theta. So let's just do a quick example. Let's take r of e to the i theta equals this two by two matrix that I keep writing down, cos theta, minus sine theta, sine theta, cos theta. This is a two-dimensional representation of U1, but I'm thinking of it as a two-dimensional complex representation. So this is in GL2C. So first of all, what are the eigenvalues of this matrix? Well, let's figure out the characteristic polynomial. Uh, cos theta minus lambda minus sine theta, sine theta, cos theta minus lambda. If I take the determinant of that matrix, I'm going to get lambda squared uh, minus 2 lambda cos theta plus cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. Well, the cos and the sine, when you square them and add them, you get 1. So lambda has to be 2 cos theta 
plus or minus square root of 4 cos squared theta minus 4 over 2 and that turns out to be cos theta plus or minus i sine theta. In other words that's e to the plus or minus i theta. So that already tells us what our weights are for this representation. right? The weights are these mi's, these integers that go inside the exponentials and here well, it's plus or minus one. So the weights are minus one and plus one. And what basis of um, vectors are we supposed to pick? We're supposed to pick an eigenbasis, right? This, um, so what are the eigenvectors? So the eigenvectors for e to the i theta and e to the minus i theta are, um, I think, i1 and what, uh, minus i1, respectively. In other words, these are vectors that generate the complex uh, eigenspaces for these eigenvectors. So in other words, the uh, theorem applies in this case. We take this as one basis vector, i1. This is another uh, eigenvector. Uh, minus i1. And with respect to that basis, the matrix, which was formerly cos theta minus sine theta sine theta cos theta, becomes e to the i theta, 0, 0, e to the minus i theta. So that's r of e to the i theta in this basis. Okay, so that's how you actually apply this result in practice. You're just finding eigenspaces.